Thought G, you a legend, boy. Hello guys, this is Brian back with another video and tonight we will be talking in a group um, talking about John chapter 3 and I have with me um, Mika and Deshaun on the phone and I have my fiance, she right here um, beside me um, I was just letting her know that you're beside me So, uh, Mika, we like to um, pray. Go ahead. All right. Happy Father, just thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for that we can come together and learn about your word, Lord. Just ask that you let reveal to us what you want us to see, Lord. Reveal to us to what you want us to understand. Reveal to us on the things that you want us to apply to our life, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. <coughs> so, John chapter three, verse one says, "There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus." A ruler of the Jews verse 2 the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him rabbi we know that thou art a teacher come from <laughs> God for no man can do these miracles that the does accept God be with him verse 3 says Jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God verse 4 says Nicodemus said unto him how can a man be born when he is old can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born verse 5 says jesus answered verily verily i say unto thee except a man be The thing got in my way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Uh, what happened? My thing. Hold on, guys. My thing got in my way. We on three. Oh, uh, wow. I hate the ads. Uh, verse um five. Start at verse five. Yes. The visible, but that children drink from new life, which is not possible against God's kingdom. When you take, oh, I'm sorry, 
when you look at a baby, it's just that. A body you can look at and touch. But the person who has spoken to me is gone by something you can't see and touch. The spirit can become the living spirit. So don't be so surprised when I tell you that you have to be born from above out of this world, so to speak. You know well enough how the wind blows this way or that. You hear it rustling through the trees, but you have no idea where it comes from or where it is headed next. That's the way it is with everyone. Born from above by the wind of God, the spirit of God. Mm. Yeah, what verse? What verse you on? Verse nine. Yeah. Um, Mika or Deshaun, y'all wanna um reverse continue? Okay. Uh, all right. Verse nine. Yeah. Uh, Nico Demas answered and said unto him. How can these things be? Verse 10, Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel and know not these things? Verse 11, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye Receive not our witness. Verse 12. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall he believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Verse 13. And no man hath exceeded up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven. Even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Verse 15. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but to have everlasting life. Verse 17, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Verse 18, he that believed on him is not condemned, but he that believed not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Verse 19. And this is the. What's that word? Um, condemnation? Condemnation. Condemnation. That light is come unto the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Verse 20, for everyone that do evil hate in the light, neither come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Verse 21, but he that do truth come to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are what's that word? Rocks in God. Okay, uh, words getting difficult. All right, 22. <laughs> All right, uh, 22. F. Oh, do, um, does Sean want to read? Oh, Lord. oh, no, you got it. <laughs> verse 22. 
Okay. For he who oh, God <laughs> sent <laughs> the word of God for God giving not the spirit by measuring mm -hmm. unto him. The father loved the son and he give all things into his hand. He that believed on his on the son a everlasting life. And he that believed mm -hmm. not the son shall not see life, but the wrath of God. Abide it. Abide it. Oh, okay. On him. Hey. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. Hey. All right. Hey, you gotta take your time. So when we think about, uh, when we go from the beginning, when it starts about the conversation, yeah. what Nepodemus and Jesus, and how Jesus said that you have, you have to be. Born again and uh, be uh, baptized. And when we think about that, Jesus is saying that in order for us to see the things of God or partake in the things of God, we must um, repent and uh, we must. Uh, be baptized, be washed, be uh, cleansed from our sins. And once we are cleansed, washed away from our sins, we be able to see the things of heaven. We be able to be a part of, a part of those things in heaven. Because what happens? God is not of sin. God is no part of sin. So when we want to be a, a part of God, we must take upon ourselves to repent give give our life to jesus repent and uh, be baptized um then we be able to um be set free and be a part of god's journey have that eternal life because nobody uh, god doesn't want none of us to perish he wants us to be with him for all eternity. So, after we now heard this chapter, what is everybody uh, in, um, input? What everybody takes from each part of this? You want to say something? Oh, no. Sorry. Oh. I just, uh, I just feel, um, the way is, <laughs> I, I'm looking at it. Um, it's it's like it's so easy to be caught up in um, things we don't supposed to do, or you know the things we know we don't supposed to do, mm -hmm. rather than follow the rules and the guidance of what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. So, and it's you know you get easily distracted, but. Um, just luckily God, you know, always give us chances and um he's he don't give up on us. So Amen I just, to that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause <whoa. laughs> um definitely and um on the the baptized part. Uh huh. Um, it's it's pretty cool because it's kind of like 
I kind of wonder, like, what people was expecting, like, what, if I get baptized, then, you know, what's after that, or whatever. Right. Because, you know, we we had to, once we are baptized, you know what I mean, we ate, our eyes are open to see the things of heaven. And, you know, because... God is not a part of sin, so if we want to go to heaven, we have to separate ourselves from sin. We have to go by the order of what God is saying, um, so that way we can be saved and have that eternal life. And God doesn't force anything on us. He's just letting us know, okay, if you don't um, believe, this is what's going to happen. But when you do believe, these are the benefits that you bear to have the eternal life, um, the gifts of the um, that we can partake in. But we gotta be the ones to say out our own mouth, confess with our our mouth that Jesus is Lord, and and want to be saved and want Jesus in our life because. We can't just say, oh, uh, I'm going to walk in this uh, on my own. And it don't work that way. We, we got to go through Jesus. Because if we go another way, we're like a thief in the night. And Jesus is saying, look to me. Look to me. I, I have things that will last long. Instead of us looking to this world. And these things in this world is not going to last long. Yeah. But we have to look to Jesus. There's no other way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. If we, when we want to be saved, we want Jesus to come into our life. We want Jesus to change our life. We want that transformation. In order to have that transformation, we got to have Jesus inside of us so that way we can be in heaven. We can have the eternal life. And with Nicodemus and how they were talking about uh, how can we be born again when we are old? We've already been born, but God, Jesus was talking about spiritually that we got to be born again the right way. The heavenly way. There's no, you know, what I mean, no other way. And God is making it easy for us to just follow the instructions. He didn't make it hard for us. But what makes it uh, makes it hard for us is because we want to continue to walk in sin. We want to continue to walk in lust. We want to continue in what um what is fun, what we think is fun, because. Um, on this earth but when we come more and more to Jesus and we allow Jesus to show us those amazing things that he wants to show us then we be able to see like oh wow this is fun being with Jesus this is awesome and he will protect us and help us along the way definitely and I um, also feel like with um, the whole John, um, the cha uh, chapter three, um, it really, um, the part speak out with me about um, the flesh is the flesh and, you know, spirit is the spirit. Because yes. I feel like that was just um, one point that was saying, um, be, be careful, you know, don't get that mixed up. Right. Because what's of the flesh is the flesh, and what's of God, the spirit is spirit. Because those two things does not work together. Flesh and the spirit, it fights against each other. Because our flesh wants to fight, and our spirit wants to fight to get better. But our flesh wants to continue to do the things in the world. And God will help us to understand what are those things that we are so attracted to by our flesh.
because we got to separate ourselves when we want to be closer to Jesus. We got to separate ourselves from sin and from things that's not of God. And I like how, like, John 3.16 and... Anybody else have anything else to say? Not sad. Anybody have anything else to say? Um, say gross. Yeah. He said. He said spiritual gross. Because he knows that because we live in a sinful world and he knows that we are going to mess up. So I thank God that he sent Jesus. Like how it says about John 3.16. For God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and verse 17 says for god sent not his son to the the world to condemn the world but uh that the world through him might be saved so God sent God sent his only son so that way all of us have a chance to be saved through him to not perish when all of this is all over yeah. and we don't, I definitely um, feel like Jesus saved us by you know, if, I feel like if God really you know, it's, it's always a bad apple, but I feel like if God really seemed like it was no good in the world and stuff, it would have been a whole different story. Yep. Because it almost happened with um with Noah. Yeah. But he he found favor through Noah Noah and his family to to tell Noah to to build the ark. 
You know what I mean? God's love is is still always there. And but when God, like you said, when God means something, he he mean it. You know what I mean? And because he knows that the things in this world can take our life just like that. Yeah, he know our limits. Even though we feel like we know our limits, but he definitely know. <laughs> yeah, and that's the reason why we have to know for sure. Know that we know that we are saved, that we have Jesus in our life, and that we are going to heaven to be with him for all eternity. Yeah, it's always, I feel like it's always been a debate about uh, what's next after you die. But mm. I feel like it's just, we not going to be in this flesh. Mm. We'll we be in our true form. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to perform. This this body that we in is rotten. <laughs> <laughs> it's rotten. Turn to ashes and, and go back to dirt. <laughs> yep, ashes to ashes. Just like this. But yeah, anybody, uh, you have anything you want to say, babe? You sure? So, um, anybody else have anything they want to say? Hey, Sean. Hey. Thank God. Keep on living. True, true. Definitely. And we just had to continue to keep looking towards Jesus so that way we can have that life because he gives us that life. But when we uh, look in anywhere else, we depending on what we are seeing instead of uh, depending on Jesus. So, yeah, definitely, a hundred percent, faith. I, I, I admit, like I have trouble being a hundred percent faith because it's like if I know the consequences, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I feel you. I mean, nobody, I mean, we all um, have our shortcomings. Uh, yeah. When God has told us to do this for me, do this, do this, my child. And we be like, we be thinking like, oh, God, you want me to do this? Because, you know, what I mean, it was times that God would say, um, go, go pray for this person. Like the, the spirit of prayer will be like so heavy to go pray for that person. Yes. And I'd be like, Ugh. it'd be like, and you don't know how they're going to take you and stuff. You know what I mean? Because because of the social distances and all this. But it's just amazing when when God is in control and it actually happens that you pray for the person and you can tell you can tell inside of them that that weight lifted off, that peace entered. That you know what I mean? That yeah. um. That love, that piece of love entered back in their heart because of whatever it was going through. So it's like, yeah, no matter um, if we are nervous about going up to a person to pray for that person, we just continue to stand on the word, trust God, trust his voice, know his voice, trust his voice, and just do it. Just we pray for each other. We encourage each other. You know what I mean? And not hold back because we never know what words that that person may need in, in that hour, that second, a split second. And because there's times that I have not said something and I feel bad after. I don't know if y'all ever felt that way. I definitely have. I feel horrible. And I was like, oh, I cannot do that again. <laughs> you talking about it's 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 just crazy how if you don't say something, just a few words, it can really like damage somebody else's life. Yeah. All because you did not want to listen to what God told you to tell the person right. and they just went downhill and it, it that's just amazing how just it, it still messed with me to this day, like <laughs> yeah. 
And then it was uh one it was a uh, one time mm-hmm. I was walking and I was just seeing a homeless coming mm-hmm. and I only had seven dollars in my pocket. And I'm like, I'm about to get something to eat, something to drink. The more I got to the homeless person, <laughs> uh, God told me to give him the money, all of it. Literally. I'm looking like, um, nope. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna pass this homeless person and I'm gonna go give me some food. Yeah. Tell me why the closer I got to the homeless person, my body started getting heavy. Yeah. I was walking fast. Was- I, my, also, my body started getting heavy. So, by the time I passed the homeless person, I started feeling like guilty and every, I, I, I didn't feel like myself. I wanted to go home. Um, I lost my appetite. And then I was like, well, God, if you really wanted me to give my last dollars, then let the homeless person stop. I, why, as soon as I said it right after, the homeless person stopped. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, got to turn around. I turned all the way around and went right to the homeless person. And gave gave him uh, gave him the money, and he exactly said, "This is a lot of money, and I really want something to eat and drink." Wow, that's beautiful. I said, seven dollars a lot of money." No, it's not. I said, "I'm gonna tell you the truth. God told me to give it to you. Go ahead and get you something to eat, something to drink." And he he literally went to the store. Yeah. And I just turned around and looked like, well, I don't, I don't know what I'm about to do. But you wouldn't believe when I tell you I had, I thought I didn't have no money in the bank. Someone told me, go to the bank. I ended up having $700 in my bank account. Wow. Because he, he provided. And I, thought, yep, and I thought I didn't have nothing. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that testimony. No problem. That's beautiful. So, anybody else got anything they want to say um, before we sign off? Hmm? Uh, this John said he. It, well, he always give uh, money to uh, to the home and saying he ain't getting it right back. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was another. <laughs> it was another incident. I literally gave somebody twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. No, how it happened with, was I went to church and I put twenty dollars, mm-hmm. and then um. This person gave me twenty dollars, and then I end up giving this twenty dollars to somebody else. No nah, man, <laughs> I feel like that twenty dollars was to go to. I said, God, let the twenty dollars go to the right person because you know I feel like it, I was trying to give it back. But <laughs> yeah, I'm looking like it's just it's amazing how if you listen to God, like He really would award you. Yes, so He just He don't only give you consequences and you know you I call it tough love but yeah yeah true, I'm gonna true. Reward you. so it's it's really amazing how he's he really is a miracle worker and it's it's great mm, that's beautiful and um man that's so um, that's amazing so we're definitely going to continue on down this road of learning together and um you know what I mean learning together about the word and just seeing where we can apply um hope I pray that we can we have some some things that we can apply for what we have heard tonight. Um I definitely have some things that I can apply with um from this. And um, anybody want to? Right, let me say one more thing. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
I learned that it's it's okay to not get the first things right. Like God will give you chances, and it might not feel good the first time, or you know, it's it's that you fight it with your spirit and the flesh. Mm -hmm. So eventually, you would just overcome it after you just keep practicing of doing God's deeds. Yeah. Because when we are constantly activating being more in the fruits of the spirit, it opens up different things with God. And we're not, you know what I mean? We're not doing it by ourselves. We're not doing it to boast. We're doing it because God put it in our hearts to do it. And we trust in his words and we walk in by faith and not by sight. Because mm -hmm. it's not good for us to boast just because, um, about, oh, I did this, I did that. You know what I mean? It's not giving God the glory. And by our testimony, we let's not be afraid to share our testimony. How Christ came in our life. How he changed our life. So don't be afraid to share your testimony out there. So this is Brian. Uh, thank you, Mika, fiance, Deshaun, my nephews. <laughs> that we came together. Um, hope um, you can, um, once you listen to this and take some from it and apply it. And we love y'all. God loves you. Peace. God bless. Start to you a legend, boy.